This is the KetoTech digital thermometer. This particular one is USB powered, but they have another version of it, which takes a standard four pin connector like you would find in a computer. You don't have to use this for the computer. That's why I opted for the USB one. This way you can measure anything you want. Doesn't come in any fancy packaging, but that's all right. Let's take it out of the plastic. Okay, here it is. I have it plugged in and it has a color backlit LCD screen that sort of gives you an analog measurement as well as the actual reading and numbers there digitally. Uh, it looks like it can be panel mounted, so if you were going to use this on a PC or something like that, you can do so. And for those of you who are using the Imperial system instead of the metric system, this can also display Fahrenheit. And to do that, there is a little jumper on the back there that you take off and then it will display Fahrenheit. So I will do that because that's the type of units that we use here in the United States. This is the sensor itself. The sensor is waterproof. The panel is not. So we will measure the temperature of water after we get the ambient air temperature. Okay, there's a little jumper that I've taken off of there, and you can see that now it's reading 76.8 degrees Fahrenheit, or 76.6 now, uh, which is fairly accurate. And uh, I also took that jumper off on the fly with it still powered on, so if you were so inclined, you could hook a switch up to those two pins on the back and be able to switch on the fly between Celsius and Fahrenheit. So now that we have the ambient air temperature, let me get some cold water and then some hot water, and we'll try that. Okay, it's now reading 76.1, and we will put the sensor into this water here. This is cold tap water. It's not especially cold, really, so we'll just stick it in there. That should be fine, and that is steadily going down. I will leave that and show you what it reads later. Okay, that is reading 70.5, and here's just a regular old kitchen thermometer, and that's reading, well, just on the mark, 70.5, definitely close enough. Now we'll try some hot water. Now we'll go ahead and put the sensor in to the hot water, and you can see that climb, and also the analog gauge goes right up. So we'll let that settle for a minute. Okay, that's reading about 130 degrees. And over here we are just about up to 130 degrees, so it is pretty accurate. And this meter will measure minus 50 to 100 Celsius, or minus 58 to 230 degrees Fahrenheit. So a very nice and accurate meter from KetoTech. Like I said, this one is USB powered. I just have it plugged in using a little adapter. It can go into a computer's USB port or battery bank or anything like that that you have that is USB powered. Would be great to use on a computer, especially one that you've built yourself. You can wedge that in the heat sink or somewhere in that vicinity or just dangle it in the case and find out what the ambient temperature there is. Pretty nice, pretty accurate, nice and small, very readable display, all around looks good. So once again, this was the KetoTech Digital Thermometer. If you'd like to purchase this item, I'll leave a link in the video description where you can find it available for sale on Amazon. Thanks for watching. Make sure you click like, make sure you click subscribe, and take care. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.